He may be best known as the author of the famous Serenity Prayer. God give us grace to accept with serenity the things that cannot be changed. But American-born Reinhold Niebuhr, a theologian, a celebrated writer, and a progressive social thinker, brought a distinct and prophetic voice to some of the most defining years in America's history. Barack Obama, a pretty progressive Democrat, Jimmy Carter could draw on Niebuhr, some of the Reaganites like Niebuhr, some of the George W. Bush people like Niebuhr. Everyone picked something they liked. So Niebuhr was always present uh, in my mind in a very practical way, particularly when I became president and was facing the constant threat of a nuclear war which would have destroyed the world. Civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. wrote of Niebuhr from the Birmingham jail. Whenever there was a conversation about power, uh, Niebuhr came up. Niebuhr kept us from being naive about the evil structures of society. Reinhold Niebuhr was the great public theologian of the 20th century. Well, I think a prophet in politics is someone who sees what others are blind to. Reinhold Niebuhr makes me shake and tremble as a human being when I think of the depths of his courage. Reinhold Niebuhr was an American original, whose understanding of human nature, justice, and social behaviors propelled him to speak openly and often critically to an emerging nation that saw no limits. Man's inclination to justice makes democracy possible. Man's inclination to injustice makes democracy necessary. Reinhold Niebuhr. Hello, I'm Martin Doblmeyer, and on behalf of all of us at Journey Films, I want to say thank you to the RCC for the honor of winning the Wilbur Award for our film, An American Conscience, The Reinhold Niebuhr Story. Reinhold Niebuhr was the great public theologian of the 20th century. He had this uncanny ability to take his depth of knowledge of scripture and sacred text, history, and the common patterns of our human behavior and wrapped them in language that was evocative and powerful and set them against the most important political and social issues of his day, and do it in such a way that people who are both religious and non-religious could understand and appreciate. And that's why I think it falls to all of us as religious communications people to identify not only the people like Reinhold Niebuhr of our past, but to see the people who are out there today in the public sphere speaking in terms of public theology and to raise their voices up so they can be heard. So again, on behalf of all of us at Journey Films, thank you.